Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Somebody said, when is this not going to be a really fun video? That's a great question. If I didn't think it wasn't going to be a really fun video, I probably wouldn't film that sucker. Anyways, like the title of this video probably says, today we are talking about Suppressed 350 Legend. Out at the range today with Heavy Metal, I just so happen to have two 350 Legend Boot Light Slingers, both with threaded barrels. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do some chronograph stuff with supers and with subs. We're going to do some groupings with supers and with subs. Let me show you everything I got out here today. And then we're going to get to slinging them, get some data, get some groups. Suppressed 350 Legend. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. The suppressor I have out here today, I'll give you a quick look here. This is my Banish 46 from Silencer Central. Banish 46 from Silencer Central. A couple quick things about this. It's made out of titanium, which makes it really strong and really light. You can run it in two different configurations. You can see that crease there. You can actually unscrew that and then move the end cap, which makes it two inches-ish shorter. Which, quite honestly, uh, me, personally, I'll probably always run it longer. There's a lot of people say, ooh, well, when I'm hunting, I want it shorter. To me, what's another two inches? That's just my personal opinion. It's going to be quieter, longer. Two inches to me doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Uh, and that two inches is only going to save you like one or two ounces of weight. So, meh, I'm probably always going to run it the long way. Um, aside from maybe in a video showing you the difference between the long and the short version. But... Banish 46, like I said, from Silencer Central. It's rated for everything 46 caliber and below, including 338 Lapua, 4570. So, needless to say, this is one tough, tough sucker. Banish 46. If it's 46 or smaller, you can run it through the suppressor. The ammo, blue lights we got out here today. For the subs, we're going to be running this Winchester, what's it called, I already forgot, Super Suppressed 255 grain. We're going to run some of this through the chronograph just to make sure that it subs. Then for the supers, I got some of this House of Pain stuff, lead tip stuff, soft point stuff. And this is 170 grain. We're going to run this through the chronograph too. Then we're going to take them both back to 100 yards do some groups and let me show you up close the boo lot slingers we got out here quick up front here with this different color stock this is my Howa that I picked up from Brownells you can pick up these Howa mini actions in several different calibers got this one from Brownells also got a Brownells MPO optic on it super super sweet shout out to Brownells super super slick 350 legend setup and a threaded barrel. Then I've got my Ruger American with a Viridian optic on top. Budget friendly scope that's done me really, really good. And of course, you know the Ruger ranches also have a threaded barrel. So we're going to put that suppressor on both of these babies, get some data through the chronograph, and we'll be ready to go. The Ruger American here. First, we're going to send three of the supers. Those House of Pain 170 grainers. See how they group through this can. And then we're going to do a group with the subs. Now, this was sighted in with some supers, so we'll see how we go here. How many zoomies we got on this? 16 zoomies. Notice I don't have any ears in. Let's send three of the supers here. See how it groups through this Banish 46. Hmm. Pretty quiet, pretty quiet. So much more quiet than without the can. So, with the can on it, it brought the impact down a little bit, it looks like. Point of impact. Send another one.
grouping pretty good there. Looks like maybe a smidge over a one inch group. Now I'm going to put in three of these subsonics and we're going to see the change in the point of impact. At 100 yards it shouldn't be too crazy. My guess is five or six inches or so, but we're fixing to find out. Let's see what happens with these supers, I mean subsonics rather, see how they group and also see how much more quiet they are. Definitely more quiet. whole lot more quiet. And the drop actually isn't too much off from the supers. Ooh, these are grouping good. Man, these might uh, have to put the hurting on a deer this deer season. Hmm. Looks like those subsonics grouped even better than the supers. Let's go down there and measure those groups. Then we'll pull out the howl and do the same thing. Pretty cool. Alright, so checking in here real quick. Ruger American running that vanished 46 can 100 yards with that house of pain 170 grain we got a 1.41 inch group and then with the Winchester 255 grain subsonic we got a 0.87 inch group but hey that can definitely made it super quiet with the supersonics and even more and more super quiet with those subsonics but definitely need to bring that uh, scope up just a tad bit there or would you say two inches probably so I'm gonna go ahead and click that up ready for next time now let's grab this Howa put the can on that baby do the same thing well wouldn't you know the uh, Batteries are dead in my chronograph, so we're not going to get the speeds of the, on the chronograph today, but I can tell you right now, those subsonics are definitely subsonic, but we'll have to test those out on the chronograph in another video, because I ain't got no batteries for this thing out of here. All right, now I've switched the can over to the Howa 1500. Let's send three of the supers again here. This one's got eight zoomies, so a little bit magnification, but I think we can, a little bit less magnification, but I think we can still do just fine. Here's three of those House of Pain 170 grainers. Hitting the shade high with this ammo. Let's see what the group looks like. Grouping pretty good. I'd say that's probably a one inch group. Now let's do three of those Winchester subsonics. This will be another probably good video just to show is uh, different boo lot slingers perform differently with different boo lots. So here go three of those subsonics. Remember, we're looking to see how they group through the can. Also, listening for that sound. Here's three of the subs. quiet that's almost like a, I don't know what to compare it to but it almost sounds less than like a uh, it almost sounds quieter than a pellet Ooh. subsonics grouping good looking good man that subsonics just awesome let's go check out those groups Ooh, I love this can all right, so how did the Howa do with that can on there? The Supers, this is that House of Pain stuff, 0.902 inches at 100 yards, two of them touching. The Circles is a penny that I traced. It's a little bit smaller than an inch, so 0.902 inches 
with those House of Pain supers. Hey, that a smoke a deer. Then down here, look at this, guys. Those subsonics. I wrote the word way down here because I thought it was going to drop more than that. But 0 0.530 inches. Ooh -wee. That is fantastic. But with the supers and the subs with that can on there, hey, that Howa is cooking with gas. But there you have it, guys. Two different 350 Legends sending blue lights down range through this can. Super, super quiet, especially with that subsonic stuff. I'm telling you, this camera does a pretty good with the audio, so I'm sure you could tell the difference. But those subsonics through this can, it it sounded not much more than like your Red Rider, and that is not an exaggeration. But we got the both of these under one inch groups with the can on. Super super quiet. I would dare say we're probably gonna film a suppressed 350 legend whitetail hunt this year. So make sure you're subscribed so you can catch that video coming up this deer season. But, hey, pretty, pretty awesome. The cool thing about this Banish 46, if you say, hey, I just want one can, uh, this can be your one and done suppressor. So, 4570, 450 Bushmaster, 350 Legend. You can sling your 30 cals through this, your 308, 30 out 6. This could literally be your one do-it-all suppressor for whatever you need it for but pretty pretty cool stay tuned I'm gonna be testing this thing with a whole lot more cartridges I've already filmed some with 4570 but we're gonna do some more let me go ahead and put that footage here quick Not really. <laughs> but hey suppressed 350 legend and the Banish 46 from Silencer Essential. Pretty awesome. If you want to check out any of this stuff, check out the links down below. These optics, these suppressors, everything. Uh, you can go read more about it. But appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!